Windows 11 with JAWS, Lesson 3, Working with the Taskbar Corner Overflow and System Tray. Objectives. By the end of this lesson, you will understand, be able to discuss and or perform the following tasks as they relate to making changes to the default settings in Windows 11. Activate the Show Hidden Icons button in the System Tray and navigate through the icons therein. Permanently unhide some of your most used system tray icons so they always appear visually in the taskbar overflow area. Note, please check with your IT administrator if you work in a secure environment before making any changes to your PC. Show hidden icons, opening the show hidden icons button. The system tray has been condensed to a show hidden icons button along with an icon for internet access and quick settings. These may not be changed by the end user. There may also minimally be one or two other icons there on a permanent basis, depending on running apps and your Windows configuration. For example, on my computer, there's a battery status icon since I'm using a laptop. The taskbar corner overflow area. Occasionally, other icons may appear in the taskbar corner overflow area briefly such as the microphone icon that appears when you participate in Zoom conferences or when you're running JAWS with Voice Assistant enabled. When these other icons appear, the taskbar corner expands in an overflow to show the new icon or icons and collapses slightly again when those icons or apps are no longer in use. However, some of the icons for apps you may use daily and often could be hidden within the show hidden icons area when the app is running. You can pin the icons for some of the apps you want to the taskbar corner overflow permanently so they never disappear. This process is covered in the next section in this lesson. Note, you may also pin app icons to the center part of the taskbar to give you a quicker way to launch your favorite apps. The taskbar corner overflow area, however, gives you access to apps that are designed to have a presence in the system tray after they are already launched and running. For now, Open the Show Hidden Icons button and explore the icons hidden there on your computer. Show Hidden Icons is the first item in the system tray. First, move to the Show Hidden Icons button by pressing Windows key B, Bravo, and then press Spacebar. Taskbar, Show Hidden Icons button. System tray overflow window, Scott minus signed and left paren active right paren button, one of 13. Use the arrow keys to explore the different icons here for your PC. Intel Registered Rapid Storage Technology button, 6 of 13. Canon MF Network Scanner Selector button, 11 of 13. To open a menu of available choices for each icon, press the Application key or use a right mouse click. When you are finished exploring the Show Hidden Icons pop-up, press Escape to close it. Taskbar, Show Hidden Icons button. Use Windows settings to add icons for apps on your computer to the Taskbar Corner Overflow area. The Always Show All Icons in the Notification Area choice that was available in prior Windows versions is no longer available in Windows 11. You may choose to show visually and permanently some of the most common icons for apps you use in the Taskbar Corner Overflow Area on an individual case-by-case -case basis. Enable an app to appear permanently in the Taskbar Corner Overflow. To enable an app to appear permanently in the Taskbar Corner Overflow Area, perform the following steps. First, open Windows Settings by pressing Windows key I, India. Settings. Search box. Find the setting edit. Focus is in the search edit box. Move to Personalization in the Categories list on the left side of the screen by pressing down arrow several times and then press Enter. System, 1 of 11. Bluetooth and devices. Network and internet. Personalization. 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 The right side of the screen changes to show settings for personalization. Move to the list box that begins with background by pressing tab several times. Personalization button, one of one. Select a theme to apply list box, flow, four images, one of six. List box, background, one of nine. Move to taskbar in the list by pressing down arrow several times and then press spacebar to expand it. Colors. Themes. Lock screen. Text input. Start. Taskbar. Taskbar. 
Taskbar items. Show all settings button expanded. Move to the Other System Tray Icons Show All Settings button, which is collapsed by pressing the Tab key several times. Search. Search Combo Box. Search Box. Task View button. On. Widgets button. On. Chat button. On. System Tray Icons. Show All Settings button expanded. Pen Menu. Pen Menu button. On. Touch Keyboard. Touch Keyboard Combo Box. Never. Virtual Touchpad. Virtual Touchpad button. Off. Other system tray icons. Show all settings button collapsed. Press spacebar to open a list of installed apps that use the system tray on your computer. Expanded. The items you enable should appear permanently in the system tray taskbar corner overflow area when they run. This depends on how the app is developed and how Windows displays it. All other apps that normally run in the system tray will be collapsed or hidden in the show hidden icons area. Press Tab to move to the list of available apps, and then press down arrow or up arrow to move through the list. Hidden icon menu button. On. List box. Windows update status. 1 of 33. Locate an icon for an app you want to add. I'm going to choose Skype. I want that icon to be handy without having to always open the Show Hidden Icons button to find it. Bluetooth devices. Application file for JAWS. Skype. Move to the On-Off button for Skype by pressing Tab and then press Spacebar to toggle it on. Skype. Skype button. Off. On. The icon for Skype when running now appears just to the right of the Show Hidden Icons button. Repeat this process for additional apps you want to have permanently visible in the taskbar corner. The number of icons you can successfully add to the system tray corner visually may be limited to the size of your screen or resolution, etc. The limit on the author's PC is 12. When you are finished making changes, press Alt F4 to close Windows settings. The changes are saved automatically. Thank you for joining me in this lesson on making some initial changes to the Windows 11 default settings. Do you want to learn more? Visit dsurf.net forward slash training.